All right. So here we have another NECO question on technical drawing. And this contains objective questions, 50 questions actually. And we have to spend one hour in answering the 50 questions. Let's start. On this page, question one, we have that a thread, a thread form designated as M16 by 1.75 denotes a metric thread of 16 mm dash, 16 mm and dash. The correct answer here is option B, 16 mm diameter, 1.75 mm pitch, 1.75 mm pitch. So the correct answer is option B. Question two, the figure below is the conventional representation of option A is the correct answer, bearing on shaft, bearing on shaft. Question three, the treatment given to part K of the component shown below is undercut. That is option E, undercut. We call it undercut. Question four. In which of the following is the sum of the interior angles equal to the sum of the exterior angles? The correct answer is option D, which is quadrilateral. The sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360. So that makes the sum of exterior angles to also be 360 degree. Question 5. The sketch below is dash axis. So the sketch below is dash, is dash axis. Now, looking at what we have here, this is a receding line inclined at an angle 45 degree. We have a vertical line and we have one horizontal line. So this type of axis is known as oblique axis. It's known as oblique axis. The receding line of an oblique, uh, oblique object is always at 45 degree. So why the other one is straight on the horizontal projection line question six the figure below shows the elevation of a t junction which of the following is its line of interpenetration which of the following is its line of interpenetration so the correct answer is h l d which is option e is the correct answer h l d option e is the correct answer question seven which of the following icons is not located on the modified toolbar? So this is talking about AutoCAD. The modified toolbar tools that we use in AutoCAD. And the correct answer is option D. Line is not part of the modified tool or modified tools that we use in AutoCAD. Line is, is a tool that we use in, in, in drawing. So drawing tool. Line is a drawing tool so other ones are modified tools that we use in autocad question eight the tracing of all the locations of a point which varies its position according to a given given law is its locus is its locus that is the correct answer so that is the correct answer so question nine the part of the roof label S in the figure below is called, the answer is hipped end, hipped end. So we have a proof in which the four, there are four slanting sides. There are four slanting sides. We look at it, we have this side, is slanting, this side is slanting, this is also slanting, and this is also slanting. So this is a hipped roof or hipped end. So that is the Path label S. Question 10. CD is a rope that is wound round a drum with center E. What will be the locus of the end D if the rope is unwound, unwound and kept taut? So the correct answer is involute. The correct answer is involute. Go and watch the videos that I made on involute and you find it to be true. So question 11. The diagram below shows a right cone cut by a plane AA. The conic section produced 
is a or an the, uh, the correct answer is hyperbola. So when the cutting plane cut the cone in this form, so the cone section that we produce is hyperbola, which is option C. Question 12. Which of the following does not involve the application of the principle of tangency in its construction? So when you want to construct a spanner, you need to make use of the principle of tangency. Then engine crankshaft, crankshaft, you also need to make use of the principle of tangency in con the construction of that. So gear in mesh, gear in mesh, you don't need to make use of the principle or, oh, sorry. For the gear in mesh, you need to make use of the principle of tangency. So the answer is engine crankshaft, is the engine crankshaft. So for gear in mesh, so you have to construct a circle before two circles that we meet at a point so before you construct the teeth of the gear of the gears so spring chain and sprocket you have to make use of the principle of tangency so the answer is, answer is engine crank shaft okay so question 13 which of the following is not a correct method of dimensioning a circle so you can dimension a circle, a circle in this form, in this form, in this form, and in this form. But this one is not correct because of the direction of this line. Because of the direction of this line. So makes it incorrect. So option D is the correct answer. So question 14. Understand the Cartesian, Cartesian coordinate system will help a drafting beginner to control the accuracy of the drawing to control to control the accuracy of the drawing so that is option b then question 15 what type of section is used to show the actual cross-sectional shapes of a long bus of a long bus so the correct answer is revolved section the correct answer is revolved section revolved section so we have been taught section in uh, in technical drawing, so we have full section, we have half section, offset section, we have part or partial uh, partial section, and we have revolve section, we have remove section. So the revolve section is used to uh, to reveal the interior part of a long bus. Then question sixteen: the figure below represent a square, a square thread profile. What is the value of the pitch? What is the value of the pitch? So the pitch is the distance from this point, distance from this point to this point, distance from this point to this point. So if the distance from here to here is 10, and distance from here to here is what is 10. So it means that the correct answer is 20. 10 plus 10 will give us 20. So option B is the correct answer. So question 17. Which of the following are uh, positive locking devices so when we talk about locking devices in technical drawing there are two types of locking devices we have frictional locking devices and we have positive locking devices and locking devices are used to prevent a uh, a, a movable component of a mechanical uh, mechanical uh, engine or a movable, a movable component of a mechanical engine from moving out of its path from moving out moving out of its path so if it moves out it can injure somebody or damage somebody it can even kill so that's why we have to make use of locking devices so locking devices that we have as i've said we have two types frictional locking devices and positive locking devices so lock nut, split pin, wa lock washer, locking plate, tab washer, and so on to so our locking devices. So in this case now, the positive locking devices that we have, we have what we have, uh, we have two, so which is split pin, and then we have what we have four, which is lock plate, and then we have five, which is tab washer, and positive locking devices. Two, four, five are positive locking devices. So option D is the correct answer. So on the next page, so here we have that 
which of the following is not a temporary past now? Which of the following is not a temporary past now? The correct answer is option C, revert. So revert is a permanent past now. Likewise, wedding. Wedding is also a permanent past now. So other ones are temporary. You can easily remove not from the boat and dismantle the component or the, the assembly. So screw, you can remove screw, screw, set screw, stored, you can remove them at any time that you want to dismantle the assembly. But when it comes to the rivet and the welding, before you can dismantle the, 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 the assembly, it will take time. It will stress you and then it requires special skill for you not to damage the component, for you not to damage component of the assembly. It requires special skill and then it requires require special tools. Okay, now question 19. Which of the following scales is the smallest? So among these scales, let's assume that the length of a line is uh, uh, the length of a line is 4,000 4, millimeters. So if you divide 4,000 by 2,000 here, this one ratio 2,000 is the same as 1 over 2,000. So if you divide 4,000 by 2,000, so you are going to have what? You are going to have 4. Sorry, you are going to have 2. You are going to have 2. So that will give you 2. So if you divide it by 1,000, it will give you 4. Divide it by 200, you know what the value will be. So the smallest value in that division is is the one that we that we divide with 2000 so the smallest scale here is one ratio 2000 which is option a so question 20 which of the following statement is correct in respect of areas in the figure shown below dash is equal to so looking at what we have here so we have that a triangle on the same base with a rectangle as equal area with that rectangle so it means that uh rectangle j o m l and triangle j l p as equal area so the correct answer is option a then question 21 which of the following which of the following collaterals as its diagonals equal and bisecting each other at and good night so the correct answer it has its diagonal equal and they bisect each other at and good 90 degree the correct answer is a square so a square the diagonals are equal the two diagonals are equal and they bisect each other at a right angle so the correct answer is option option e that now question 22 the following are factors to be considered in setting up a blueprint production center except aesthetic. So you need the capital to set up the, the business to be an entrepreneur. You need the labor, people that will work with you. Then you need the land where you set up that, uh, that, uh, that where you set up the building that you use for the, for the production. And if you don't have a building, you need to rent a, uh, a building where the production will be taking place now question 23 in the diagram below arc ef is a semicircle if angle efg is 55 what is value of angle feg so this is a right angle triangle so if this angle is 55 degree this angle will be 90 minus 55 because the sum of angles in the right angle triangle is 90 so 90 minus 55 will give us 35 so the correct answer is option c so question 24 using the relative polar coordinate system to add a three inch line that is 45 degree from the end point of the line created above the drafter would type the correct answer is option a this is talking about autocad so if you are familiar with autocad this should not be difficult for you to answer so the correct answer is option a at three then you put this uh less than sign 45 degree or uh, 45 and you press enter so it will the line will 
go at an angle 45 degree okay so question 25 which of the following correctly describes relationship between a the circles in the figure below so the correct answer is concentricity 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 so these circles are concentric circles concentric circles are circles that are drawn from the same center but they have different radar so concentricity is relationship between these circles question 26 what type of section is shown below so for you to know the type of section that is shown below you have to look at the uh, the direction of the cutting plane direction of the cutting plane so they cut this cutting plane cut a quarter of this object cut a quarter of this object and when that happens we are talking about half section we are talking about half section so half section is not that the cutting plane will divide the object into half no that is a full section when the cutting plane goes in this direction so we are talking about full section but if the cutting plane cut a quarter of the whole of the object we call it half section question 20 7 and 28 we have to use this diagram to answer the question so here we have that use the figure below to answer question 27 and 28 question 27 which type of door is shown in the figure above so which type of door is shown in the figure above so this type of door is a framed legged and braced framed legged and braced door so the correct answer is option B. Then question 28 says that what are the names of the parts labeled F, G, and H in that order? So here we are, but the answer is F is bottom rail. So F is bottom rail and G is a brace and H is a style. So take note of that. So the correct answer is option B. A is the correct answer. Okay, so here we have that the figure shown below can be identified as this is a marking gauge. So if you remember in your base technology in GSS 1, so we are taught uh, woodwork and tools. So marking gauge is one of the woodwork and tools so then question 30 identify the type of screw screw point shown in a diagram below the answer is round so round screw so round screw question 34 the elevation and plan of a hexagonal pyramid cut by plane xs is shown below which of the following options is the correct sectional view so the correct sectional view when the cutting plane goes in this direction the correct sectional view is option e will give us the correct sectional view so you may be thinking that why is it not option a option a it will have been an option a if the cutting plane has gone in this direction it's cut it in this direction this is implied at an angle but if it has been that it cut it we have the cutting plane go straight it will have given us this option a but because the cutting plane is inclined at an angle the correct sectional view is option e take note of that then question 32 who is responsible for the for equip equipping blueprint studios in public schools the government has to do have to do that the government have to do that so they are the one to provide whatever is necessary whatever is needed in the blueprint studio in public schools even in the laboratory so they are the one that will pay for it not the principal or not the teachers so this the government is the one to do that so question 33 the figure below is an isometric block which of the following options is the plan which of the following options is the plan so the plan here looking at what we have here so looking at what we have here so we have what we have this rectangle so we have this rectangle so this is here and then we have this hole it's not a square 
then say, oh, so we have it here, the circular hole, we have it here, then we have this rectangle, so we have it here, we have this straight line, this straight line, so they are here. So the correct answer is option B. So question 34. If the path label L in diagram below is drawn half size, what type of pictorial drawing will it be? So it be a cabinet oblique drawing. A cabinet oblique drawing. So this one now is in cavalier form, cavalier oblique drawing. But if this length, if this length, the length of the city, the city side is drawn half, so that will give us a cabinet oblique drawing. Question 35. The figure below is a uh, is a or an so this is a is this an inscribed an inscribed circle this circle is inscribed so when the circle is drawn inside the triangle that circle is known as inscribed circle which is option d but if the circle is drawn outside the triangle and it touches the three vertices of the triangle we call it circumscribed circle so take note of that all right um question 36 the following are symbols used for architects to convey information on blueprint except so looking at what we have here option c is the correct answer this is bell this is bat this one is bat i think this one should be tiles on the floor and this one is water closet so this one has i don't know what it means so but this is not among the conventional symbol used uh, by the architect okay so question 37 the following are card database applications except so looking at this um analyzing designing documenting optimizing and manufacturing so uh the correct answer is optimizing optimize the correct answer is optimizing so question 38 which of the following symbols represent glass the correct answer is b so b represent this symbol or conventional symbol of glass in building drawing then question 39 the roof shown in the figure below is a lean to roof that is option c a lean to roof so that is option C. Question 40. The vertical part of a step between two consecutive threads is known as riser. Is known as riser. Is known as, is known as riser. Question 41. Drawings, in, drawing instruments are best kept in bags, not baskets, not cupboards, not drums, and not jars. They are kept in bags. You have to get a bag where you'll be keeping your drawing instrument. Question 42. In what ratio is the figure below enlarged? In what ratio is the figure below enlarged? So this figure is enlarged in ratio of 3 to 8. So 3 to 8 in ratio of 3 to 8. So take note of that. I need to make corrections somewhere about uh one question that i solved so which i uh, wish i think is not i know that is not correct what i said there is not correct in the previous video on neko question so the correct answer is two ratio one two ratio one two ratio one we have three to six so it is reduced this is reduced so we reduce it from two to one so six ratio three we give all is the same as two ratio one so take note of that on the previous video on NECO objective questions that I did. Okay, so the next question now. So question, uh, question 43. What is the name of, what is the name of view K in the figure shown below? So the view, the name of view K shown in this figure is first auxiliary plan. When the projection is made from the elevation, so we call it auxiliary plan so this is a first auxiliary plan question 44 which of the following statement is not true about auxiliary projection so 
Auxiliary projection is used to obtain true shapes of inclined surfaces, correct? Auxiliary views are necessary to show true shapes, yes. Auxiliary views are projected both vertically and horizontally and vertically. That is incorrect. That's incorrect. The correct answer is option C. So circles in auxiliary views are represented in form of ellipse, right? Views are required to be drawn at angle to the axis. Yes. So it can be angle 30 and 45 for angle 60. So question 45. Which of these is not a key element when operating and managing blueprint reproduction center? So deficit is the correct answer. You need to, it has to be functionable. You have to market it. You have to operate. You have to carry out operation and then you have to make you make it uh, uh, make a quality a quality blueprint okay so question um question 46 the instrument used for drawing horizontal lines is a t square so we use t square to draw horizontal lines and question 47 the two sketch below is a straight pin armor this is a straight pin armor so question 48 the figure below is truncated by plane pp which of the following represent the true shape of the court so looking at what we have here it will relate it to what i said before the correct answer is option b the correct answer is yeah the correct answer is option b option b is the correct answer so question 49. So we are using this, this figure to answer question 49 and question 50. So the question says that question 49, which of the following letters represent roving sheet? So the correct answer is M. M is the one representing roving sheet. So that is option D. So question 50, the word plate is represented by letter. So word plate is represented by letter O, which is option A here. So I believe you have listened and you will also study some questions on technical drawing on your own. So if you have any comment to make, make it and I will respond to you as soon as I get it. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, subscribe so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified, most especially on the construction. Even for these objective questions, it's also very, very it's also important. So if you are praying for WAEC or NECO, subscribe so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Share these videos with friends who are technical drawing or engineering students and I believe you will have a good grade in this subject if you do the right thing by practicing, by practicing. God bless you. Thank you very much.